Okay, Jonathan, we are live. We are, Bill. Is it is you've got no new equipment that you're gonna <laughs> utilize, you know, straight no, in this show, Bill. No, I haven't touched the noise gate for three days. God, you must have you must be having redraw symptoms. Yep, yep. And a lot of work though. Too much programming. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, folks, let's get yeah, ready. Yeah, but Bill, before we really start, I want to know for, you know, I'm sure me and our YouTube following wants to know your, is the quality of your introduction going to match the last week's episode? Oh, that's going to be hard to outdo that one. It was, wasn't it? It yes. was quite amazing, actually. Okay, uh, folks, two seconds of silence. Jonathan. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking behind you. Jonathan's at the collective, and there's a guy behind him right now. I look like he's about ready to pull down his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking back. I'm not looking. All right, folks, welcome to Timeline. Oh, I blew that one. Okay, yeah. folks, welcome to New Media Gold. No, it's what? not New Media Gold. You should go to newmediagold.com because that's where all the uh, new group is. Oh, come off it, Bill. Do a proper. Okay, we're going to do proper. They can catch this. Okay, one, two. Welcome to WP Tonic, episode 32. It's all about Facebook today. So Jonathan's going to lead out and talk about some pot, some plugins that he never uses. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about Facebook. And then Jonathan's <laughs> going to finish up with some more plugins that he's not using. I, I never said, Bill, that every, every plugin that I talk about on this show, I, I utilize, Bill. Right. I just asked folks on the pre-workup, I just asked Jonathan, Jonathan, do you use any of these plugins? Because I was going to about to use one of them myself or test it. So anyway, no. Jonathan, lead off. Starting those yeah. plugins. Drive on. Yeah, you've really made it really exciting for our audience, Bill. You know, they must be really gunning to listen to this now, but never mind. Well, so um, we've gone through the past couple of episodes a lot of information and a lot of plugins. But um, and because we are both in the WordPress community, um. I think one of the things is the WordPress community in general is more of a Twitter kind of clan. But my, but our uh, users, uh, our business listeners, they really, they've got to utilize Facebook because, you know, it is the biggest um, platform in social media at the present moment, Bill. So we're going to go through some stuff um, around Facebook, and it, it's very similar to what we were talking about Twitter. You know, there's different plugins that do different jobs. You know, you you know a lot of the stuff we've previously talked about um, that has buttons, and it also provides Facebook buttons. And some of this we're going to talk about does that as well, but it also can show it can post your comments on your Facebook profile or business page or you can show your actual facebook content on your on your wordpress website bill right right, right. and there's different combinations depending on what you're you're trying to achieve right um so I, i'm gonna talk <laughs> as normal we, we start off with jetpack well, you know, I think every episode we talk about Jetpack, don't we? Right. I don't have it on my sites. Any, I have it on one site. I, I don't have it on any, but every yeah. episode. I don't think there's a WordPress feature that Jetpack doesn't do, is there, Bill? No, they're trying to uh, – it, it's actually WordPress.com, yeah. and they're trying to really take over as the one source element to use in WordPress, I think. I think yeah. you could run your whole site just off of Jetpack if you wanted to. Yeah, it does a bit of everything. But in truth, Bill, it, it's a reasonable Facebook basic right. plugin. Uh, well, it does more. I say, I say it's more than basic. It's got so many things. It's like a, about thirty or forty plugins in one. Yeah, I was talking about the Facebook functionality, Bill. Oh, the face. Yeah, duh. Okay. Right. Uh, are you with us, Bill? I'm here. A copy. Oh, good. good. Uh, uh, Earth to Jonathan. Uh, Earth to right. Jonathan. Oh, that's great, Bill. Um, <laughs> so. Um, so it does it, it it's I say it's basic, but um it covers quite a few basic things. It you know it has about um a num 
widget functionality. Um, it's got a number of little features. Um, so maybe a, a good plugin to start off with. Um, it the other one is the native Facebook WordPress plugin that comes from Facebook themselves, and that one has about you know, has a number of widgets that you can show open graph and it also works with Facebook's own API system. So if you are a bit of a coder, you can draw more kind of individual data out of your Facebook profile and fan page utilizing this plugin bill. So but, um, if you're not gonna do if you're not gonna work with the API system the basic functionality this native plugin provides is pretty impressive, Bill. No comments, Bill? No, other than you don't use it. Well, I, I'm trying to figure out why we don't use I, No, I'm going to add it to my site. I'm testing it. Yeah, well, you know. I know why you don't use it, because Twitter. I'm a Twitter person, am right, I? Right, right, right. Um, but I do post a fair bit of stuff. Uh it's increasing, and I, I for clients, I've become more in. When I'm dealing with clients, I'm much more involved in Facebook. Well, I've I've got some numbers later on to talk about Facebook, uh, and what the numbers are from the Edison Research in Triton, which came out a couple of weeks ago. Oh, great! So the next one, the next one up is simple Facebook plugin, and. Um, this is a nice, you know, all the ones we've talked about are all free. But this one um, is a nice basic WordPress plugin. And um, let's go and have a look at uh, it's got 4.7 out of 5 stars. It's had over 10,000 installs. It was last updated. Um, around November last year, and um, I think it's a pretty nice plugin. You know, it said ten thousand plus, which is very similar. You know, um, and I think it's a pretty good plugin. Um, I don't think it's got as much functionality as the native Facebook one. Really? No, I don't think it has. Um, but they also, um, I think they do a pro version as well, because I'm just reading that they've got some of their plugins on Code Canyon. Right. Right. But I think that's it. Um, it's a pretty good plugin. You know, I have a test site. I'm going to go ahead on that test site, which is Bluff, B L U F T V dot. Net N E T. It's truly a test site if you look at it. Bluff TV. I thought all your sites were test sites, Bill. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and put the Facebook site up, and I will test this other one, simple Facebook plugins, and we'll compare them. Oh, great! Yeah. Um, the next one up is because um, I thought we might as well just go through all these, and then okay. we can listen to your to your expert advice. I've got a great um, report today. Oh, great. And um, the next one up is um, Go Viral, Facebook Share Pop-Up. And this this is a real professional um, word. It, it does multiple things, but it, it, it encourages people to really join your Facebook page. Oh, you know what? I don't have my earplug in. You don't, Bill? I thought I had. I didn't plug it all the way. Keep on going. All right. And... Um, this is a real hardcore premier Facebook library of widgets, lightbox pop-ups. Um, it 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 does a lot of stuff, Bill. And it won't uh, be on my test page. No, because it, it uh, <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> because it's really very expensive as well but uh, if you've got a lot if, you know if you go to the website they show it also provides a load of analytical data that will display in your wordpress um, back end and it has a load of functionality like i say this is a real hardcore for somebody that's got a high traffic website that really wants to um 
populate, get their Facebook people onto the website and also get their Facebook, get their website traffic to join their fan or business page, Bill. And I was really impressed with this plugin, but shock horror, Bill, it's, um, it's almost over $300. That's a lot of cash. That is not for the non-committed, but um, if you, like I say, if you're really looking for the kind of premier bees knees um, that really gets conversions, and it, you know, it's aimed at the real hardcore marketer. Um, oh, actually, it's it's only three hundred and sixty-nine dollars, Bill. Um, wow! But, but this is this this is the most impressive kind of Facebook marketing plugin I've I, seen. I found it. Good deal. Now just for three sixty nine. Yeah. Um, so go and buy Bill because you normally buy every premium <laughs> plugin we look at. That's not true. Uh, all right, I'll be close. Nice. So I've got some good stuff though. Yeah, I got yeah, you do. Um, the next one just le- need to learn to run it better it, all, all these take work that's one thing folks every time you buy another plug-in you have to learn to use it mm. that's true bill the next one up is slightly cheaper i free uh, um, and it's called facebook page promoter light box i just love these names bill and um this one um <coughs> Well, where where the go viral, you know, it provides a lot more, but some of its key functionalities around Lightbox, you know, and what I, what I mean by Lightbox to those in our audience that doesn't really know what that means is it, it's done by um, JavaScript, a normally J uh, query, um, and basically when you when you click a link, a pop up appears and and the background goes black, um, and that that kind of style is normally all controlled by JavaScript. And this plugin provides that kind of look and functionality, where you you want to emphasise that somebody should join join your kind of business page through the website, Bill. And it looks pretty good. And like I say, it's free. Right. Um, so that's basically it for me, Bill. Uh, I, I, I did a, I looked at a lot, and there, there's some others that we could have talked about. But I, I wanted um, one thing I could emphasise is that you know, like the other social media plugins we talked about, um, you know, you got those where you're posting art snippets of articles and that. From your, you're trying to encourage people to post stuff from your website onto their Facebook area, and then there's other ones where you're displaying, you know, who's following you on your Facebook page on your website, or you're showing comments from your Facebook page on your website, or you're trying to encourage people to that come to your website to join your fan and business page and all you know you've got to look at all these plugins bill and decide what are the key um things that you want to achieve through your web your wordpress powered website connected to your facebook areas okay got it so going on what i'm going to cover in my section today is i'm going to cover facebook competitors and continue to grow the Edison Research and the Triton Reports, which came out a couple of weeks ago, and it's a thousand, it's a thousand person survey. It's done actually with a telephone, I assume cell phones. And here are the numbers for thirteen and fourteen. They, this is for they did the numbers for last year, and I think it's kind of interesting because Facebook um, persons who have profiles on Facebook, it was fifty eight percent, and it stayed at fifty eight percent. So there's no growth, but there's no loss. LinkedIn grew uh, by 2% to 19. Uh, Instagram actually grew the most from 12% to 19. Uh, Google Plus grew a lot from 12% to 17. And Twitter slightly grew by 1% for, uh, for profiles. 
And that surprised me. I thought Twitter would be higher than that, 15%. And then Pinterest from 10 to 13. Snapchat, which I don't, I don't really know Snapchat, from 3 to 13. That had the largest growth. Yeah. Uh, MySpace, which is ancient, um, fell off 4%, <laughs> down to 10, 14 to 10%. MySpace is dying. Yeah. And, and then Vine is new this year, this last year, 9%. It, it jumped. And then Tumblr. I don't know much about Tumblr. You know much about Tumblr? You know, it, it, you know, they sold it for a huge amount of money, the founders. And it, it seems to have it, its, you now it's got a lot of users. Um, and those that are really in the Tumblr community seem very um, um, committed to it. And, but no, be honest about it, it's not... It's not a world that I know much about, Bill. Yep. Well, if you go to my uh, test site, which is tr the, the, the true test site, something says business tools, and I've got a the link to that PDF, and we can put it on um, WP Tonic also. And it's, uh, it's quite a few uh, slides, and it just sort of talks about the trends in new media type things. But it talked a lot about, of course, social media. One thing that I was surprised at is – Rate in cars, radio has not dropped off that much, but podcasts have gone up. Radio hasn't dropped, but podcasts have gone up. And mm -hmm. the reason reason why podcasts have gone up in listening and digital is because they, people found new ways to listen to it, whether running, jogging, cutting the lawn. And the number of sm smartphones in America, sixty two percent of all people have smartphones, so it's continued to to move up. And they're listening in primary through smartphones. No, that's not the real reason, Bill. Why do you think our show? Yeah, our show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. We're going uh, crazy. So their whole report's there. Pretty interesting report. A little hard to digest. But uh, it's uh, interesting to see how things are going. Another thing, too, is um, iTunes. Uh, I, I watched the uh, Apple presentation uh, that they put on every quarter. And they presented the new in-dash uh, Apple car which has the touch touch icons on there, and one of them is the podcast. So that's kind of neat. You'll just push it on the dash. It also has a map. I don't know how they're going to get away with it because you're not supposed to touch, like, any of your phones, so, but it's on the dashboard. That's about it for the uh, updates on what's going on in technology. Now going into the second part, which is face group, Facebook. Basically, I came to the conclusion, after really trying to study groups and pages, that the best thing you can do is to just Google Group Basics Facebook. And you'll come up with a site that is Facebook's Help Center. And it's got creating a group, and it just has a lot of good information, a lot of processes, really breaks down the different kind of groups and how you can control a group, how you can invite people in. And then some of the uses from groups are just from, like, posting to actually having a closed control group with just your closest people where you put messages back and forth to each other, pictures, anything, any database. There's just unlimited amount of stuff you can put up on Facebook now. They must make a lot of money to be able to run what they do in Facebook, all the stuff that they have on Facebook. And then on pages, again, on pages, that's for business. Same thing there. Go and do a search for pages. And it comes out to actually a, a page-looking thing. It says brand your page, a highlight with uh, material, and manage everything in one place. And that's really the business aspect. Every business should have a page or two. And the other thing, too, is, and Jonathan and I talked before a show, um, we, I need to put up, just for my podcast, I'm going to put up a, a page so I can just post the uh, shows. I'm going to post the shows on that page. And people can leave comments, things of that nature. But everything takes time and graphics. So that said, the only thing I would add to that and all of this um, I would go, you need some tools to get your graphics up and running. And uh, there are a couple tools I've got here. If I go to um, newmediagold.com into the tools and help, I've got some key design tools. And probably the most helpful tool, if you just want to get up and running fast and make your sites look really cool, is Canva, C-A-N-V-A design tool. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. That's my report for this week. All right. So, um that was that was short for you, Bill. Who uh, 
Um, uh, would you like? I think if you, um, I'll just go through a couple of some websites that uh, I go to when I want to keep my social media knowledge updated. Okay. Um, um, I think one that I really go to a lot is called Razor Social. That's R A Z O R Social. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, Ian Cleary, he's based in Ireland, but he's got a lot of experience um, on, as an online marketer. And he's built up a really nice website, um, and he really knows his stuff. And he does a lot of reviews uh, on um, social media tools and the latest um trends in social media and um he always he provides really good value on his website so um and he's well known in in the industry and i, I just think he provides a lot of value on his website so i would recommend that and then we got mr facebook john luma um Yep. on uh, johnluma.com and um, I've got some exciting news. I'm not guaranteeing it. We're just having some provisional discussions, but there is a chance that Mr. Luma might be coming on our show, Bill, which would be um, really fantastic because he's a great um, speaker about WordPress and there isn't much that John doesn't know about how to utilise Facebook effectively. Um, and he's got some nice free resources. He does a podcast as well. He's he's into his beers as well, so that can't be bad. That's can good. Yeah, it's good. In fact, when are we going to do that podcast when we each have a beer? Oh, definitely, especially if he comes on. Oh, we know. should all have a beer. He's got to drink a beer too, though. Oh, he probably would definitely uh, insist, actually. Uh, so he's Mr. Facebook, but um, he's um, online. Uh, his online wife, his Facebook wife, who isn't his wife, um, is, um, but she's Mrs. Facebook, is obviously Mary, Mary Smith. And um, Mary is uh, Mrs. WordPress. Um, but I go to her website, um, and she's got some good courses. You know, she is, you know, if you do a search about Facebook, her name consistently comes up. Um, and she's got some good stuff on YouTube, and um, she does know her stuff for her team. And um, they're both. Um, for my cup of tea, I, I do prefer John Luma, but... He does tend to go into the real more hardcore elements of utilising Facebook when you're um, trying to run a, a paid for campaigns on Facebook. Um, but, you know, I've been listening to his content for years, Bill. Right. Hey, so, good. Those are, those are good. That's a good closing uh, sites to go to to look at. Yes, how are we good. doing for time, Bill? Good, we're perfect. We're right on 23 and 24 minutes. Oh, you're happy then, Bill, aren't yep. you? So shall we wrap this up? Absolutely. Good show, good take. And I won't break it up. Okay. I'm still going to test it. Out here. <laughs>